forecast this morning. Not too chilly for this time of year, but it's also still pretty overcast. So think of that as kind of tucking us in under a blanket and dropping a couple of sprinkles in our area this morning. So on average around 47 this morning in Knoxville sunrise 725. Going to be hard to see though with this pretty persistent overcast view. Actually notice when I track it out though 9 to 10 we start kind of chipping a few holes in these clouds a bit more. Midday mostly cloudy afternoon becoming partly cloudy. We'll actually watch this continue to clear on into tonight. So that'll kind of back off for us a bit, but notice by tomorrow morning clouds start rolling in again. So they're going to be in and out at least for a couple of days before it's another front that moves rain in. So no complaints here that we're at the bottom on just a stray couple of light showers and sprinkles. 47 to start will be at 53 at 11. Take off a few more degrees there for your afternoon at 57 degrees. It's actually right around normal. So at least the cloud cover tucks us in a little cozier this morning. And then this afternoon, the clouds back off a bit to give us a little bit of warming in the forecast where you live. Getting some stray showers early, making it closer to 59 today in Athens to 58 in Loudoun. Forecast where you live 57 today in Knoxville and Oak Ridge. You're looking at a high today of 52 in Wartburg and 53 today in Crossville. Forecast where you live tops out at 52 in Stearns and 55 in Middlesbrough. Aim to the high today of 56 in Rutledge to 54 in Morristown and 57 Pigeon Forge. Now tomorrow Tomorrow is really good day to still get outside, get some things done. I still need to get some outdoor decorations. It'll be cold in the morning because of that clearing overnight. Then those clouds start increasing 37 in the morning to 52 at 11. High tomorrow 65, but we take off because a cold front is on the way. So check out this future cast here where we go through Tuesday with just these layers of clouds. And then Tuesday evening, this batch of rain starts to reach out the plateau around 8 p.m. Spread out 10 to 11. So Tuesday night, overnight hours, bulk of the rains drenching our area, good moderate to some heavier rainfall that continues to move on. Uh, so right now it's not first alert worthy because we're still seeing some good scattered rainfall by the time most folks are leaving. So the bulk, the best coverage is while you're sleeping. Then we have scattered rain 7, 8 to 9 a.m. This is the last batch actually right behind this is when temperatures will start dropping. So we have at best kind of a late morning to midday high. Then it starts getting cooler on Wednesday when it's clearing. So in terms of that rainfall potential, we do have another good half an inch to three quarters of an inch coming through. You can see some isolated one plus kind of clipping our areas. This system is dying down as it enters East Tennessee during the overnight hours. So that does add up to mostly a half an inch to three quarters of an inch for most of our area. But with that being a cold front, the winds will kick up with the passage of the rain, but it'll still be breezy Wednesday as those temperatures are dipping, still gusts around 20 miles per hour, and that'll be bringing us down from low 60s midday Wednesday to freezing Thursday morning. Could even get a little stray mountaintop snow shower there, but notice we kind of hit that chilly button for the second half of the week before we look at some showers approaching again next Sunday to Monday.